Hello, and welcome to the This Happened Today in History podcast for March 6th. I am your host, Mr. Miller. This podcast will cover a number of topics that happen on this date in history. Please visit the podcast webpage at thishappentoday.buzzsprout.com. There you can download the notes page, which will help you organize the information as well as develop your own ideas on how these events change the world around us. If you're interested in hearing more, please consider subscribing so you will not miss out on what happens tomorrow in history. At 1 a.m. on Monday, March 6, 1933, President Roosevelt issued a Proclamation 2039, ordering the suspension of all banking transactions effective immediately. He had taken the oath of office only 36 hours earlier. The terms of the presidential proclamation specified that no such banking institution or branch shall pay out, export, earmark, or permit the withdrawal or transfer in any manner or by any device whatsoever of any gold, silver coin, or bullion or currency, or take any other action which might facilitate the hoarding thereof. Nor shall any such banking institution or branch pay out deposits, make loans or discounts, deal in foreign exchange, transfer credits from the United States to any place abroad, or transact any other banking business whatsoever. For an entire week, Americans would have no access to banks or banking services. They could not withdraw or transfer their money, nor could they make deposits. The crisis began to subside on March 9th when Congress passed the Emergency Banking Act. On March 13th, only four days after the emergency legislation went into effect, member banks in the Federal Reserve cities received permission to reopen. By March 15th, banks controlling 90% of the country's banking resources had resumed operations and deposits far exceeded withdrawals. Although some 4,000 banks would remain closed forever and full economic recovery was still years in the future, the worst of the banking crisis seemed to be over. In 2012, a woman from Nebraska sold a three-year-old chicken McNugget for a total of $8,100 on the internet auction website eBay. The woman claimed that the McNugget resembled George Washington and that she wanted to sell it to raise money to send children to a summer camp. The auction site eased its rules on selling expired food for the woman so that she could raise money to support her cause. And, born on this day... March 6, 1947, in Portland, Oregon, was Dick Fosbury. Dick Fosbury is known best as the creator of the Fosbury Flop, a new way of high jumping. Up until that point, most high jumpers were using the straddle method to get over the high jump bar. His method of jumping gained world attention at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City when he not only won the gold medal for high jump, he also set a new Olympic record at 7 feet 4 and 1 quarter inch. In 1972, just four years later, in Munich, 28 of the 40 competitors in the high jump used the Fosbury flop. Today, it is the most popular high jumping technique in modern high jumping. You have been listening to the This Happened Today in History podcast for March 6th. I thank you for listening, and I hope that you have enjoyed learning about the historical events from the past. Thank you today to the following websites for the information regarding the topics. ThePeopleHistory.com Bank Holiday of 1933 by Robert Javely in the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston at federalreservehistory.org. The music used as a background track for this podcast is Americana, created by Kevin McLeod on acompetech.com. If you enjoy this information and would like to hear more, please consider subscribing, as this will help keep the historical events in your feed in the morning for each day. I hope you have a great day.